So guys, welcome to something really cool. Uh, I got a chance to play Rage 2 kind of early, and by kind of early, like last week. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't able to capture anything. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to or not, but they came over, I got to play it, I got to talk to them about it and everything, and then they sent me footage. Uh, so some of it is pretty well edited already, uh, but I have mixed in a couple of things. We're going to see like a couple of story missions. And then we're going to see like a little montage of all the different abilities and stuff at the end. So, uh, anyways, I love you guys. If you're excited for Rage 2, just destroy that like button. And with that being said, guys, let's do this. Wellspring. Finally. Now let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Come back soon, Walker. So the footage just kind of begins right when you get to Wellspring. The one thing I did notice, I did play the first Rage of my time. I think I actually went all the way on that one. Uh, this game looks phenomenal. I think when I got a chance to play it, I was like kind of surprised at how well it looked. Because it kind of had that Wolfenstein feel where it's really fast paced. And it also kind of had that uh, Mad Max vibe. There's a lot of like Mad Max kind of elements. But I think, I think the same studio made Mad Max as well. So that was a good game. Stop right there, Shitstein. We're on lockdown. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day. Don't try it all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. And I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sancho. Now, as I said... This is that fast paced stuff I'm talking about. It is just non-stop. You have a boomerang ability. You have that, which <laughs> you can warp around. I want to say this is a shotgun, but it felt more like an air cannon. The ground slam. Better get up there. Impressive. You think it can catch a bullet too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small time bandit outfit. Got real big lately. Military hardware, unlimited supplies. They got heavy backing. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. Clayton has seized all of our hardware, including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. He's not doing this on his own. <laughs> he ain't got the brain for it. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. It's not like it's sitting on Main Street. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod. But we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service. Get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. Let me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Sure, you can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as tough as you, right? Any luck? You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I gotta go kill the shit out of some muties on TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Become a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh, oh, let's hope you've got what it takes. Those shows eat up folks like gobbling down peanuts. So then you go on to do the three different story missions. When I was playing it, there wasn't uh, all the chop editing, obviously, but they did such a great job editing. I'm just kind of sitting back reacting to it again. This was a lot of fun. The racing is, it just reminds me of like 
Good Some destruction Jason, derby type the stuff. Jazz car derby it is. Keep your eyes on the screen. I'm gonna win this. Good luck, Walker. With those psychos, you'll be racing. You're gonna need it. Well, God damn. God damn. Look what the bone tore on it. You here to bet your ass in the race for Chaz? Racing, baby. I can see you got the grit to be great. You got the meat it takes to take the plate. And you got all the trimmings, too. Got a contract right here, Prime Cut. <laughs> Is he eating a drumstick? That? Yeah. <laughs> you sign it blood. <laughs> oh. You race your way to the top crust like a knife through sirloin, and you emerge victorious and take the gravy too. <laughs> when do I start? Scritch scratch. We got your John H, and we good to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you started the box, freshman. Get the pity bucket. Prove your sizzle in that slow mo ride. And then move on. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> Go grab your ride when ready, huh? Ground, you vile creature! I feel like they did a really good job with just like the character design in this game. Like it's very well fits the theme of everything. Kinda has that steampunk Mad Max type vibe to it, you know? The driving, I actually failed a few times. They're making it look pretty easy. But it's a lot of fun to race, too. I think my favorite thing I saw in the game was the hijack type thing, where there's like an envoy and you have to take it down. But yeah, I, I think this game, it's gonna be kind of, it, it kind of came out of nowhere. I remember the first game came out and I played it, and not a lot of people knew who it was. I knew it was like Bethesda's, uh, Kind of before they started making like Wolfenstein into hey, what it is now, you know. Here. You're fast as a shark, twice as deadly. I still need to clean up some muties at Mutant Bash TV, though. I know it's a hassle, but hey, Wellspring thanks you for jumping through all these hoops. No skin off my back, as long as you come through on your end, Mayor. You won't regret this. Lucem, I'm entering the Mutant Bash TV arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. Those things are nastier than you think. Now, this, I think Mutant Bash TV was actually in the original game. Uh, this time, it's like amped up. It's like on steroids, basically. Some of these characters, man, are just extremely weird. But in the first game, it was kind of the same way, you know? Oh, mes amis, look here! What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say, you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, mm, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. Tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do tell. Is it a hunger for the promises of the... I present you with hmm? a thirst, perhaps, for the redness oh. of wines, <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur, the lust to kill. <laughs> you have it, the promise of great. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, Hansel. And sign here on the line. Yeah. 
He signed so many NDAs in this game, I just realized that. Oh, sweet young thing. Your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill for Desdemonia. All right, so it's just going to be kind of beginning. Uh, there are, I think there's three or four different areas I had to go through. I forgot what this one. Oh, this is the one where the each of the sides have something that like pops up. You got to shoot them. Favorite thing I had in the game was the shotgun. I feel like because it just throws them back so much, and it's got a lot of range too. Like I was kind of surprised about that. <laughs> this game just looks crazy. I bet it plays amazing on uh, PC, which is what I actually played it on. And I think that's what this footage is on too. That's the one. Or the swing. Oh yeah, it wasn't a. The giant ball. <laughs> Electricity, too. You can knock them into it as well. And they'll sometimes stick to it and get swung around. You know what it... The, the one thing this game does remind me of... I guess I guess you could compare it with the goofiness. It's kind of like a Borderlands-style game. But we haven't had one of those in forever, so... It kind of goes along in that same genre, I feel like. Oh, this little boss. I, you know, it's crazy how they gave me the footage. I thought they were just going to give me, like, raw gameplay. And they just chopped up all the story bits and threw it at me. A lot of the guns and abilities are pretty over the top, but I think it really fits the game. <laughs> what was that? Well, guess that was that. Mayor Lusum, I've got it. A free pass to the winner's lounge. I saw it all on the vid screen. Guess you really are the shit. That was some great A sportsmanship. What can I say? That's how I roll. I'm on my way there now. Now you go back and talk to that same guard, and now he lets you in. You get to finally talk to that guy. Saw you on the killing screen. I'm here to see Clegg Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. The winner's lounge. Love your style, gladiator. I wonder if this game's gonna have any kind of RPG elements to it. There he is. Hey. Hey, missing up already. I got a great, nay, tremendous surprise for you all. Looky over there, dames and dudes. Here he is, the infamous wasteland tycoon Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only, Killer Dilla Walker! Our latest ass-kicking champion! <laughs> Do that to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my latest golden goose. You stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! <laughs> I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> so, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. <laughs> I just noticed ah, he has like a little box fan or a little uh, <laughs> fan on his shoulder. Like, is it that hot there? Behold, Killadilla Walker. This is the innermost core of this high powered city. This is the multi watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire. 
my office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today, but soon power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit, crone, loosome Hagar surrenders her mayoral office to me, uh, things here will take a turn or two for the better. Oh, just you wait. So, being rich not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, Now, let right? me tell you about my father. My father, my father was a great man. He, everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money, see? I, I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What? What could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a second. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a song shot eyeball. They're extra globby. Right. My man's trying to right. escape on us. Talk to me. Oh, yes. I this mean, room reminds no, me of a room I in Blade mean, Runner. I don't know why. I think it's because it looks like red outside. All right, Lusum. The gizmo is planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker! One more thing. How is decrepit old Lusum these days? Oh, surprised? Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clayton. Yeah, that's true. My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. Oh my god, I remember this boss fight. This shit was crazy. I died so many times, I'm curious how they're gonna do it. Giant troll, isn't it? <laughs> Man, the boss design is so good in this game. I remember the big beast from the first game. It's like you uh, fight them pretty early on. You can actually get the rocket launcher before you do this part, but apparently you don't need it. You have like a little sidestep ability you can go back and forth on. Man, he took him down quick. Lucy, you read me? Barely. You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is, Clegg is in bed with General Claus. Oh yeah, they disintegrate when you do that. Whoever's playing actually is really good at the game. Like, it took me a long time to get the controls down. They're making it look like... I guess when you make a game, you've only played that game for a while. Found a tank. Oh yeah, you have that rage mode type thing where the everything just... I think you do extra damage if I'm not mistaken. This part reminds me of the first game a lot. Remember the last few videos I did for that series were just like almost 50 minutes each and they all just had... Endless waves of enemies as you climb this tower. The strike team is in the tower, standing by. Shouldn't be long now. Hook me up to their channel, so I know what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup. Formation. Lock and load. Breach! Layton, drop the weapon. We're uh, taking you down. You're not taking anything, suckers. I'm Clint Clayton. There's like three separate videos they gave me. I'm gonna try to combine them into one. This is one that shows off this, uh... I guess this... 
one of the flying vehicles I found in the game. Uh, I got to kind of mess around with this stuff when I was playing it early, but the funny thing is, most of the footage they sent me is the story without any of, like, the free roam aspect of it. So there's just a lot of, like, dialogue, so I may not be talking much after these first few minutes, but I'll still be kind of here watching it with you guys. This show is one of, like, the envoys that I really liked. Yeah, right, right here. I love where you... I think there's a scene in a little bit where this big thing passes you and you basically have to chase it down. I don't think they actually do it in the footage, but it kind of shows you how much of the area you can just free roam through. And I thought this was a really cool touch. I think they did a great job with just the way it looks. It kind of has that... As a game that came out a couple of years ago called Mad Max. Um, and, and it just, I mean, I think it's made by the same people. But it kind of has the same vibe of it. It's kind of got that steampunk, Blade Runner, and Borderlands. Like, all those things kind of mixed together. And that's what this game is. Here's the Envoy thing I was telling you guys about. It looks cool, man. Like, this this definitely reminds me of, like, Mad Max. The fact that it's also, like, in the desert, you know? I love the cut editing they've already done on the footage. They didn't have to do all that. <laughs> Thank you guys for sending me this. The game is 60 frames and it's just non-stop. Lily, you gotta see this place. Goddamn Ranger Jersey would have treaded with caution here. Yeah, Jersey died. So you gotta be better than him. Make sure you got the gear and the skills you need before going in. There it is. That looks so cool. All it's missing is a guy on top playing the guitar. <laughs> the electric guitar that's like always with the battle, you know? This is where like the abilities start showing off. So after this fight, I'll show off all the abilities you can pretty much do in the game, at least for the most part. The boss fights are epic. This is just a random free roam boss too. A little blockade right there. The guy playing is actually insane, I think. Like, whoever, it's probably a developer. They did a fantastic job with the footage. Nice. I love the editing right here. Now, I mix in the abilities right here. Show you all kind of how the game works. You got the pushback. The vortex where I love this one. Bring them all up in the air, you know? <laughs> the barrier, which we just saw. Now slam. This is one that's a lot of fun to use. A little AOE attack. That's just some of the, the core abilities I think you get at the beginning of the game. Big effing guns. Oh, they show off one I haven't actually seen yet. One of the attaches. Yeah, it's this one. Watch this. That shit is so badass. The guns are all just like... What the hell was that? Oh my god. I hadn't seen that yet. That's some of that pool action right there. Combining everything. That's probably like the Spartan kick of this game, that little pushback. It is kind of a go anywhere, do anything type game. There's a lot bigger map in the first game. I feel like this game just came out of left field, like. That is so badass. 